Radio wins when all else fails. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato of MediaMonarchy.com, coming to you from my balcony garden for a first day of summer edition of Good News Next Week. We've got that story, plus a music camp for the blind in West Virginia. It's also West Virginia Day on June 20th. But first, a story about confidence, and that is low confidence. And this is good news, as bad as it may sound, from Gallup. Americans clearly lack confidence in the institutions that affect their daily lives. The schools responsible for educating the nation's children, the houses of worship that are expected to provide spiritual guidance, the banks that are supposed to protect Americans' earnings, the U.S. Congress elected to represent the nation's interests, and the news media that claims it exists to keep them informed. On all those points, confidence is at a record low in America and it feels like everybody's getting ready for summer of rage whether it's funded or not and so we have to kind of fight back against that rage and realize that corrupt institutions maybe need to fall apart because we're working on building our own thing forward hopefully so again you can get all that data you can see all the charts and graphs on Ars Technica and we'll include the links for you as we always include everything we say and play on these episodes in the show notes it's again coming to you from my balcony garden, so I don't have a heck of a lot of notes here in front of me. But our cover story comes to us on the tweets by our good buddy James Corbett at Corporate Report using hashtag good news next week. And it's about ham radio. Now, I've been doing radio now for over 20 years, and I started in college radio, and I did a little bit of commercial radio. But what I really want to do is, of course, independent, non commercial, alternative radio for you. Admittedly, I have a little bit of a lack in the technical knowledge of radio. I've always been way more interested in what goes on over the airwaves than exactly how all the gears come together to make it work. But what I do know, and have always known, that amateur radio, aka ham radio, has always been around and always seemed to be that kind of thing that could always be around. And I'll speak on that more in just a second. But this piece, again, gets into I think what makes ham radio that much positive. Basically, if all the poop hits the oscillator, ham radio is still pretty much going to be there and the dedicated people who know how to use it. And again, it's all about having skills that can carry on and on. Ars Technica says, I'll pull this one quote for you about its independence gives ham radio a further edge. It is vigorously non-commercial and non-governmental, and by law the format has to be open. It's open to all nations, and nearly all allow it. It survived war, dictatorships, disaster, and CB radio. If you want to use the airwaves, then provided you can pass a simple, nominal, or a simple technical test and pay a nominal administration fee, you don't need any further permission. Increasingly, that means unique creations can't happen any other way like global free to access digital voice radio networks and international automated satellite tracking and data systems. It's also fun. It's also open source. As they note, try opening up your fondle slab. You can't do it. They've occulted all those things from us and are kind of trying to pull it away. And I think what we keep discovering week in, week out on Good News Next Week is all the good things have been hidden away from us and they've sold us back the phony fake. Our third and final story on this week's Good News Next Week, episode 23, coming to you for the first day of summer, June 20th, 2016, from my garden balcony. There's actually a camp that just went down in my home state of West Virginia, and it is West Virginia Day. It became a state on this day, June 20th, as West Virginia broke off with the south to be go with the north. So technically, I never felt like I was from the South being from West Virginia because West Virginia technically is with the North. <laughs> so there was actually a camp where they brought in a professional musician, also blind, who worked with a bunch of blind kids from West Virginia and they worked and played and trained and actually put on a big show in Charleston this last Friday night. So a little bit of good news in my home state of West Virginia. The two other things we were looking at, a woman in Mississippi, a former bankster, turned gardener is basically showing her community and kids young and old boys and girls how to put their hands and feet in the dirt and start growing things and that again is the huge step towards independence they didn't call them victory gardens for nothing so it's life skills it's about some work and having a plan and understanding that once you put things in the soil or even in your mind you nurture them you still have to make them grow 
And finally, the community fridge revolution continues. It is viral and you can't stop it. Now they've been setting up fridges in Dubai. Now, caveat and the fine print is that they really only did it for Ramadan. Let's hope that the idea sticks and community fridges will continue to flourish as we've been following them here on Good News Next Week for the better part of 23 episodes. And each week we try and bring you some of the best ways we are winning and solutions oriented stories. And there's a handful of folks giving us most of our good news. If you've got good news going on in your community, tweet me using hashtag good news next week. Or of course, if you're not on the tweets or the Fed book, I applaud you and you can just send us an email, james at mediamonarchy.com. We are listener supported since 2005 and I can't do it without you. Mediamonarchy.com slash support is the way you can help support our work if you find it valuable. This has been Good News Next Week. For the first day of summer, I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.